Installing the correct choice of loudspeakers is the number one priority for a clear and effective public address or background music system. We're joined by How To AV audio expert John Dore to look at the options available and how choosing the right loudspeaker for your environment and the correct positioning of your loudspeaker is going to make all the difference. With over 30 years of experience in the installed audio industry, our expert today knows pretty much everything there is to know about public address and background music technology. Today, we welcome John Dore to discuss loudspeaker choice and how significant this is to ensuring an effective communication system. John, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Perhaps we can start by looking at the role of our audio system, whether a simple PA messaging system, voice evacuation, or background music system is going to affect the quality of sound reproduction or the clarity we're going to need? Indeed Chris, the three disciplines that you mentioned there, the uh, informing, warning and entertaining categories that we use when planning a system, uh, all follow the same principles when we're looking at the type of loudspeaker that we need and the type of loudspeaker that the environment needs. And I guess we might move on to understanding the acoustic environment of our application and how this is going to affect our choice of loudspeaker. Very much so, Chris. Of course, every environment is different. Things like the acoustics, the size of the venue, uh, the area that you need to cover, things like ambient noise, how many people are in the environment, and what the activity is in the environment all have an impact on the type of speaker that we need to provide. So let's take a look at some of the speaker choices available to us. John, perhaps we could look at what our options are for the indoor environment first. So say an office, the retail or education environment, where high ambient noise is less likely to be an issue. Many spaces, uh, offices, schools, um, retail, um, have low ambient noise levels. The key speaker that we'd utilise in an environment such as that would be something like the ceiling speaker. Um, this is placed in the ceiling and it allows us to provide a very even coverage, very simply, very straightforward within a space. However, that's not always possible to provide uh, that type of coverage uh, within the environment. So we'd look at utilising a wall speaker such as this that would sit around the edge of the space and project the sound into the space. Um, again, very effective in an environment where the, the ambient noise level is not so high, but where you need to make sure that the, that the coverage is clear. And then staying indoors, but looking at high ambient noise environments, such as factories. What options have we got there, John? OK, factories and industrial environments are a little more difficult. Typically, we have to overcome uh, maybe machinery or higher ambient noise levels. To overcome that, what we would typically do is we'd look at providing sound through something like a horn speaker here which would give us a significantly higher sound output to overcome the background noise or sound pressure levels within the space. We typically use these in very, very noisy environments. Um, if the horn is a little bit too uh, of an overkill for that type of environment, we could also then fall back onto the sound projector, such as this. This will allow the sound, again, to be pinpointed towards the area it's required, but is not as harsh as a horn. And therefore, I guess that's going to give us a better sound quality in the projector, maybe if we want background music or radio in the factory environment. Indeed, yes. I mean, a horn speaker is tailored more towards the voice frequencies. Uh, the sound projector offers a much more full, full range, wider frequency response to work very well with uh, voice and background music. And we should also consider specifically warehouse and large shed retail environments, perhaps, John? Yeah, in fact, um, in warehousing and, and retail environments, we tend to use suspended speakers. Mm -hmm. um, these speakers typically are hung from maybe four, five or six metres high, and uh, they allow us to provide, with the height, provide a, a very wide coverage area, a very wide footprint of uh, sound coverage um, that allows us to cover the space very effectively for paging and background music. So having covered the indoor environment, as we look to consider outdoor loudspeaker options, there are a number of factors to consider, including area coverage, difficult acoustics, such as that infamous railway station, and of course the environmental conditions of rain, changing temperatures, and public access areas where damage and vandalism are concerns. What are we going to look at there, John? Indeed, Chris, uh, the outdoor environment, again, has its own challenges. Being outdoors means that it may be uh, affected by the weather, 
could be affected by even things like the air pressure. But one of the key factors that we have to consider when using speakers outdoors is noise pollution. Um, you use the rail station example there. Uh, we need to make sure that the message gets through to the passengers, but we don't want that message to then go through to maybe adjoining housing or a school or an industrial area. So what we do there is we make sure that we tailor the loudspeakers um, little and often to make sure that we're able to get the message across, um, but we're not providing a noise pollution or irritant to, to nearby neighbours and local areas. Okay, and also because we're outside, like a lot of other technology products, IP protection or ingress protection is really important to loudspeakers as well. Can you tell us what that means, John? Yes, it's key um, because uh, a loudspeaker that has an IP protection number against it means that um, you can very, very effectively use it outside. Um, the higher the number, uh, the higher the protection. So um, if we have something like an IP67 unit, mm -hmm. we will be very happy to use that outdoors, say stuck on a pole in the middle of a field, and it would work very happily. However, if we have something else, which is maybe in the 43 or 44 um, IP range, we look at making sure that that was installed somewhere where it was maybe protected a little, under eaves or under some form of canopy or something like that. So to recap, when choosing the right loudspeaker for your public address or background music system, always consider all of the following factors. Environment, the acoustics, the reverberation times and reflective surfaces. Ambient noise, is the environment relatively quiet or surrounded by noisy machinery, vehicle noise and crowds? Area coverage, you may be installing into a classroom or an office or a huge warehouse or car park. Quality and clarity of sound. If you're providing messaging or critical voice evacuation, then clarity is going to be paramount. Or in background music or audio marketing, quality of sound is likely to be the deciding factor. Aesthetics. Some loudspeakers are wonderful and stylish or even invisible. Others, really not so pretty, but really built to last. Directionality. Is it important for the sound to be evenly dispersed or directed to very distinct areas in the environment? Environmental factors, outdoor installations, public access areas and harsh environments will need to consider the IP rating required. For more help and advice choosing the right loudspeakers for your next system, contact the How To AV team. Our audio experts have advised and designed many of the UK's largest and high profile installed audio systems and we're always happy to help. Call us on the number shown below or click on the screen now. And don't forget to leave us your feedback and more questions for the team in the comments section below. Your question might just be the next subject we cover here at howtoav.tv. Thanks to John for joining us. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. Join us again soon for even more know-how from the AV world.